بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعده أهبت في الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته حياكم الله جميعا أهبت في الله from the method of the salaf it illustrates for us the importance of mixing with good and being around good people husna suhba as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had the best suhba, the companions radiallahu ta'anu majma'een and he was the best of companions to have Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and from the madhab of, of our Salaf al-Salih is also, it is uh, illustrative of this important point, this important principle. It was reported from Abu that he said, do not sit with the people of desires, meaning the people of bid'ah or, or ahwa, or, you know, desires or bid'ah. For I fear that they will immerse you in their misguidance or mix up and confuse what you already know. And this was collected by Ibn Batta in his Ibanat al-Kubra. Look at this text of how the Salaf were with regarding the people of desires. Limada, they mentioned two things in this narration, in this athar of the Salaf. Firstly, to that by mixing with people of desires in innovation, that they can immerse you in their desires in innovation in bid'ah. Meaning that they can make you become like them. Become a person of desires. And a person of innovation. And the second reason of why not to mix with them. Is because they can cause you to have confusion regarding what you already know. Meaning the ilm that you've already acquired over the years. You've learned about tawheed. You've learned about sunnah. You've learned about good things. But then you begin to mix with asharis, for example. You begin to have new ways of thinking about aqidah. About the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Well, maybe there's a new way of thinking about it. Maybe we don't need to go all the way back to what Allah and His Messenger وسلم, said. Maybe we need to look at another ta'wil, another way of understanding and inferring that occurred later instead of those first three generations. Or perhaps you will begin to question... Why don't we add more categories of Tawheed? How about Tawheed al hakamiyah And use it for a political agenda. Because right now, we need to think about rebelling and tech, and, and tech fear of the rulers. Because there doesn't exist Islam. Or there doesn't exist Islamic rulers. Or this or that. All these various arguments that we see from the people of innovation and desires. And if you mix with them your end result, you will be like them. Or at least you will cause you to have doubt and confusion about what you already knew. Or perhaps you'll sit with people who just make you feel good. Let's go to the gatherings of the people of Dhikr. They're just remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It doesn't matter that the leader of these Dhikr circles, he doesn't have knowledge. We don't know anything about him, but he just speaks our language very nicely. We really like his suit and his tie. He really communicates. He's so articulate and so charismatic. And when he turns out the light, it's, it's, you can just feel the aura of, of, of Islam. And you can just feel the light and the nur. And when I look at his face, there's so much nur on it. But he's not calling you to the book and he's not calling you to the sunnah. So know for a fact that he will cause you to doubt your religion or he will cause you to be confused about your religion or he will lead you astray regarding your religion. So it's very important to find sahib al-sunnah and stick with sahib al-sunnah. Meaning, find those people who call you to the book and the sunnah and the madhab of the salaf of this ummah and they teach you ilm al nafia and they build you in stages. And stick with them. Learn from them. Those are the people who can help you found salvation with your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. They can be a means because they help you 
to come back to the book, back to the sunnah, back to the madhab of the salaf, and they remind you of your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala in the asal of this deen. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us to be in the, hab, in hab, the, the, the company of ahl khair wa sunnah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many shortcomings and our many ways in which we compromise the religion and our many, many mistakes. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ikhlas, with tabat, seeking to draw nearer to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala because that's all that's going to matter on, our, on the day, on Yom al Qiyamah. And before we die, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.